It's a license plate that fell off one of those cars. Another good guess, but I don't think so, Loli. Those license plates are big pieces of metal, not small ones like ours. Plus, they have blue painted numbers on them. Hmm, you're right. Well, what do you think it is, Huckle? I don't know, but what I do know is that it's a... Mystery! Busy <laughs> Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here, putting the pedal to the metal as I race to the scene of a mystery where Huckle and his gang have come across a mysterious piece of metal. That's right, Goldbug. We found a hunk of metal with a big ten on it, and we're going to find out what it is. Okay, ready for it? Here goes! <laughs> Huckle and his team solve the Big Ten mystery. Goldbug out! Look! Our tights are ripped! Now our ballet dance is ruined! No problem! I'll just think of another dance we can do! No, I'll think of another dance! Okay, back to the mystery. What else is metal and has a number on it? I know! House numbers! Yeah. 
Your house is number five, so house number ten must be close by. Maybe its number is missing. Seven? Eight? Nine? Hey, look! This should be house number ten, but the number plate is gone. This is Mr. Frumble's house. Let's ask him. Hey, guys. What's up? Hi, Mr. Frumble. Well, we were wondering if this piece of metal we found is the number plate to your house. We noticed yours was missing. No, mine's right here. I was just giving it a fresh coat of paint. Wow, that looks great. Oops, there goes my hat. Well, if this metal plate isn't from a mailbox, a car, or a house, then what could it be from? I don't know. But maybe someone who works with metal things would know. Great idea, Loli. Blacksmith Bear knows all about things made of metal. For sure he'll know what our mystery metal object is. Hey, check us out! We're clog dancers! <laughs> Sorry, but even the trash cans have more rhythm than you. He means you! No, he means you! Come on, let's go find out what Blacksmith Bear can tell us! Well, it's definitely made of metal, but it didn't come from my shop. It looks like it came from another country. Wow, that's cool. Do you know what it is, Blacksmith Bear? I'm afraid not. But what I can tell you is that it has had a lot of wear because there are plenty of scuff marks on it. See? Hey, look. There's something written on the other side. What does it say, Hacko? I don't know. I can't read it. Why? Are the letters too small? No. They're just not words I've ever seen before. Let's see. I think they say Maison de Chaussure. Hmm, that sounds like a foreign language. Hey, Miss Honey speaks a whole bunch of different languages. Maybe she can read what it says. Great idea, Sally. Let's find out. Thanks. My pleasure. Good luck. Hey, guess what? We're break dancers. Now yeah, watch this move. We call it the helicopter spin cycle. Yo yo. Yo yo. yo. Yeah. Oops. I think your break dance is broken. Loli's right. Maybe you should try a quiet dance number. Uh, a quiet dance uh, sounds good. Uh, it uh, sounds less painful. <laughs> Come on, let's go find Miss Honey. Yes, I do speak several languages. I speak English, hello, French, bonjour, German, guten tag, Spanish, hola, and Japanese, konnichiwa. Wow, Miss Honey, that's amazing. It sure is. So you must know what's written on this medal. Well, it's hard to say clearly because of the scuffs, but I recognize this language. It's French. It says Maison de Chaussure, which in English means House of Shoes. Shoes? I can't think of anyone who wears metal shoes. Miss Honey, do you know what the big number 10 stands for? Well, if it has something to do with shoes, then perhaps the 10 is the shoe size. Oh, like how my shoe size is three? Yes, and mine is six. Then who would wear size 10 metal shoes? I don't know, but they would have to be very big and very noisy when they walk. Hmm, okay. Well, thanks for all your help, Miss Honey. You're welcome. Uh, I don't get it. What could this thing have to do with France or size 10 shoes? We have our dance figured out. We're going to tap dance. So, what do you think? It was great, but there was no sound. So? Well, tap dancing means making tapping sounds while you dance, like Hilda did this morning. Oh, we get it. Like this. Tap, 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 tap. No, you don't understand. You don't make the tapping sounds. Your tap shoes do. Tap dancing needs special tap shoes, like the ones that Hilda's father brought her from France. They have little metal plates on the bottom that make the tapping sound when you dance. Hmm. Size 10. France. Of course! I know what the metal object is! Go 
Bug reporting live from Miss Honey's house as Huckle <gasps> announces the big news on the Big Ten mystery. That's right, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, we found a strange metal object with a big number 10 on it. It wasn't from a mailbox, a license plate, or a number on a house. Since it was made from metal, we went to see Blacksmith Bear. He didn't know what the metal object was, but said it was made in another country. That's when we saw some small words stamped on it, words in a different language. So we went to Miss Honey, who speaks lots of different languages, and she said the writing was French for House of Shoes. It wasn't until I saw the pigs tap dancing that I remembered Hilda's tap dance from this morning. She told us her shoes came from France and were made special because her feet are so big. I think Hilda wears a size 10 shoe and that the piece of metal we found is the tap part from Hilda's tap shoes. It must have fallen off when she was doing her tap dance this morning. But there's only one way to be sure. We need to go to the busy town theater to find Hilda. <gasps> you found my tapper! Oh, thank goodness! I can't do my tap dance without it. Voila! It's good as new. There you have it, folks. Huckle and his Tip Tap team have solved the Big Ten mystery. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Huckle! This is Goldbug signing off. Goldbug out! Oh, that buzzer means it's my turn to dance. Wish me luck. Good, Good luck. luck. Okay. We finally picked a dance. We're going to square dance. Swing your partner, dozy do. Don't worry, he's okay. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> the whistleblower mystery. Sally and Lowly. Good to see you. Nice day to be out for a drive, isn't it? It is for us, but it looks like you are having some engine troubles. Do you need any help? <laughs> oh, I'm not having engine trouble, Sally. My car is supposed to be letting off a little steam. It's steam powered. It is? Really? Steam powered? Yes. The engine heats the water and turns it into steam. Then the steam builds up pressure, and that's what makes the wheels go round. Wow, that's the coolest car ever. Actually, it's really hot because it's full of boiling water and steam. <laughs> well, toodaloo! Bye! Bye, -bye. See ya, Mr. Fixit! Hi, guys! Hi, Big Will! Hi, Big Won't! Hi, everybody! Hi, guys! Sorry, we can't stop! We're having a Pogothon championship! Yep! First I won Pogo Badminton, and now I'm going to win Pogo Basketball! No way! I'm going to win at Pogo Basketball and Pogo Soccer! No, you won't! Yes, I will! Pogo Basketball? Pogo Soccer? <laughs> What's next? Pogo Snorkeling! Great idea! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on? That wasn't my whistle. Oh, dear! That other whistle is causing big traffic problems. But where's it coming from? It's not Sergeant Murphy blowing that other whistle. So who is it? That's what I'd like to know. It looks to me like we have a... Mystery! Is Goldbug reporting live from a busy town intersection where cars are stuck in jam? I mean, a traffic jam. What's the scope, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, Sergeant Murphy is trying to direct traffic by blowing his whistle. But someone is blowing another whistle, and that's causing all sorts of traffic problems. Two whistles. 
That sounds confusing. It sure is. That's why we need to solve the whistleblowing mystery and find out where the other whistle is coming from. Right, team? Right. You know it. Ready for it? Here goes! <gasps> as Huckle and his pals blow the whistle on this latest mystery. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Hey, the whistle sound came from that way. And that way is where we're going. I'll be the Bobo Snorkeling Champion. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Excuse me, but someone's whistle is causing a traffic jam downtown. We think it might be yours. What? This little whistle? It can't be. Besides, I just got here. That's the only time I blew my whistle this morning. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, it's okay to go. No one's crossing the street. Someone else blew a whistle. It wasn't me. The mystery whistleblower. I wonder who it was. I don't see anyone with a whistle. Me neither. Hi, Hi Mr. Fizzy Fit. It came from that direction. Come on, let's go. Follow that whistle. Hmm. Do you think that bird could be the one doing all the whistling? Well, birds do make lots of different sounds. Maybe this one is a whistler. Guess what, guys? I was the Pogo Snorkeling Champion! You'll have to get dressed later. We've got more pogoing to do. The bird flew that way. Come on. Birdie, there you are. Here it comes, the whistle we've been waiting for. That whistle couldn't stop a caterpillar car. You're right, Loli. Looks like we need to look for someone or something else. Look, there's the soccer referee. And he's got his referee whistle around his neck. Maybe it was his whistle we heard. Hi, ref. Have you been blowing your whistle? Nope, not yet. The game can't start without me. Are there any games that have started? Not any soccer games, but maybe there's a hockey game going on. Hockey games have referees. And referees have whistles. Come on, team, to the hockey arena. Pogo ice hockey? <laughs> this Pogo-thon championship is getting sillier all the time. I'm gonna get a goal! No way! I'm gonna get a goal! <laughs> that must have been the whistle we heard at the intersection. Huh. I guess that settles it. Mystery solved, right, Huckle? Maybe, but we're inside the arena, and the mystery whistle was heard outside. We need to go outside to find out if we can still hear the referee's whistle from there. I can barely hear the whistle out here. Yep, it's not loud enough to stop traffic. That means we have to keep looking. Now that's more like it. Hmm, there's nobody around here with a whistle either. Hello, children. Hello there. Hi, Miss Honey. Hmm. Maybe Miss Honey can help us figure out who's doing the whistling. Uh, Miss Honey, have you seen anyone walking around with a whistle? No, I don't think so, Loli. Why? Well, someone has been blowing a whistle, and it's getting drivers all mixed up. We're trying to find out who it is. And it sounds just like that. Who was that, Miss Honey? <laughs> Why, that's just Mr. Kettle calling me to the kitchen. Mr. Kettle? Do we know him? 
Come on inside. I'll show you. A tea kettle? You mean that's what we've been hearing all morning? You must have been hearing something else. This is the first pot of tea I've made all day. I never knew a kettle could whistle. How does it work? When the water in the kettle heats up, it turns into steam and builds up pressure. Hey, that reminds me of how Mr. Fix-It steam-powered car works. You're right, Loli. But what makes your kettle whistle, Miss Honey? When the steam blows out of the spout, it makes a whistling sound. Hmm. So the pressure from the steam makes a whistling sound. That's it. I think I know where the mystery whistle is coming from. So tell us, Huckle, are you any closer to solving this mystery? I sure am. Here's what I think happened. We first heard the mystery whistle on the street. It was loud enough to stop traffic. We figured out that it didn't come from the crossing guard, or a bird, or from a referee. It also didn't come from Miss Honey's whistling kettle because she wasn't boiling water when the mystery whistle was heard. But then Miss Honey told us how her kettle works. She explained that when the steam blows through the spout of the kettle, it whistles. That's when I remembered something else in Busy Town that lets off lots of steam. Mr. Fix-It's steam-powered car. So I think that the loud mystery whistle must have come from Mr. Fix-It's steam-powered car. So you're saying that you think Mr. Fix-It's steam-powered car is whistling? Uh-huh, but we'll need to find him to know for sure. I think I hear his car coming. Excuse me, Mr. Fix-It. Have you noticed your car making a whistling sound? Sure. My car doesn't have a horn, so instead of honking, I just pull this cord. It lets the steam out through the pipe at the top, like so. You certainly have to hand it to Huckle and his pals. They have a real ear for solving mysteries. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Hooray for Huckle! Mm -hmm. In fact, you could say that solving mysteries is Huckle's cup of tea. Go, Thug. Out. <laughs> It's okay! Keep going! Did you know that Sergeant Murphy is steamed up because your whistle sounds like his whistle? And drivers are getting mixed up! Oh, dear! Oh, I didn't know that! But I'll have to do something about it right away! There! That should fix it! Perfect! First one in the corner is the Pogo Stick Champion of the World! It will! Watch out for the wet cement! <laughs> 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 Looks like the Pogo Stick won't go, Pig Will! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>